Hello everyone. Welcome to Meda's Tech. My name is Akshay. Today we are going to discuss about the topic Raspberry Pi and its connection to display unit monitor. The Raspberry Pi is a low cost credit card sized computer. We can learn to program in different languages like Scratch and Python. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 computer model B 4 GB RAM. The specifications are located in the back side of the box. Now let's open it. This is the Raspberry Pi. This is the sa- safety and user guide. Let's see other hardware accessories that require. A monitor with an HDMI port. A micro HDMI cable to connect the monitor to the Raspberry Pi. A keyboard. A mouse. A type C power supply. And a micro SD card, a minimum of 8 GB micro SD card is recommended. This is the type C power supply port. These are the two HDMI ports. This is the two USB 2.0 ports. This is the two USB 3.0 ports. This is the Ethernet port to connect to local network. Underneath the board, the SD card slot is located. Every computer needs an operating system. So, Raspberry Pi also needs an operating system and Raspberry Pi OS is the official supported operating system. We are going to use Raspberry Pi Imager to install an operating system on SD card. Go to Raspberry Pi software page. Now, click on download for Windows button. Go to downloads and click on Imager EXE and install it. Insert the SD card reader to laptop. Now, open Raspberry Pi Imager. We can choose OS and select the first option that is Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. We can see the advanced settings button located in the bottom right corner. This is to pre-configure OS. If we use this menu now to configure your Raspberry Pi OS installation, then the configuration wizard that normally runs on the first boot will be skipped. Let's skip the configuration now. Now, click on choose storage, select storage drive and click on right click yes on warning window now it started to write os on confirmation window click continue now we are going to connect all hardware components to raspberry pi connect mouse to usb 3.0 port keyboard to usb 3.0 port Connect HDMI cable to micro HDMI port. Connect type C power supply. And finally insert micro SD card into SD card slot. Now, let's power it up. Raspberry Pi is now booting up. We can see the welcome to Raspberry Pi desktop screen. Click on next. It's time to configure the Raspberry Pi. In screen Let us set country, language and time zone. In my case, it's India. Click on next. Set up new user in create user screen. I am creating new user which is Meda Spy. Click on next. Set up screen. On some monitors, the desktop is larger than the screen and the edges are cut off. We can adjust it in the screen. And now we can connect to Wi-Fi in select Wi-Fi network screen. Choose your Wi-Fi network and click on next. Now the update software screen will be displayed. Click next. It will take a few minutes to complete the update process. Now Raspberry Pi is up to date. Click on reboot and set up complete screen. Now we all are set to start exploring the Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. We will come up with more videos on Raspberry Pi. Please subscribe to our channel Made Us Tech.